Hello everybody and welcome to Buttercup Yoga. Today we're going to celebrate the beautiful planet we live on, planet Earth. And we're going to do that with some special Earth Day yoga poses. So let's start by taking our arms up above our heads and making them into a round shape, just like planet Earth. And planet Earth spins on an axis, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to slowly start to spin, being very careful we don't get too dizzy. You can get a little bit faster if you like. And stop! Well done! Let's go the other way, really slow. And we can get faster and faster, being very careful. And stop! Well done! As well as spinning on an axis, the Earth also rotates around the Sun. So we're going to create some heat and energy just like the Sun. So crouch down onto the floor and we're going to do a big Sun jump. Are you ready? Let's do four Sun jumps. Ready? One, two, three, four. And then take your arms and your legs wide, just like the sun, and see if you can feel that heat you've created, just like our sun. Well done. And then bring your arms and your legs together. Now on planet Earth, as well as land, we also have lots of water. We have the sea and lakes and rivers. So let's be the sea. We're going to make some crashing waves. So take your arms up high and crash them all the way down and tickle your toes. And let's go again, crash, tickle your toes and again, down we go, tickle those toes one more time, crash, fantastic. In the sea there is so much, so much life and one of my favourite animals is a shark. So come onto your knees and we're going to make a shark pose. We're going to place our forehead onto the floor and we're going to use our hands to make a fin above our heads. Are we ready? Down we go. Fantastic! And that's a shark pose. Another one of my favourite animals that lives in the sea is a jellyfish. So come to lie on your back, lift your legs and your arms in the air and see if you can move them like they're the tentacles of a jellyfish floating through the sea. Oh, very good. And now come to sitting. Place your feet down and place your hands behind you and see if you can lift your bottom up off the floor. And we're going to move from side to side. Can you guess what animal we are? Have you guessed it? We are a crab. So see if you can do some crab walking. Fantastic! And if you can think of another animal that lives under the sea, see if you can make it with your body too. Well done! Fantastic! Now let's come up to standing. As well as the sea, we also have lakes and rivers. So let's take a swim in the river. Are we ready? Move your arms forwards as we swim through the river. Oh, and we might like to swim backwards. See if you can swim backwards too. Well done! Oh, and we might even be a little fish swimming in the river. Come onto your tummy and see if you can move like a fish. Well done! And then come up to standing oh, and shake all of that water off and we're going to come onto land. On land we can find lots of beautiful things in nature like trees. So see if you can place your foot on your leg, stand tall, bring your arms up and down towards the centre. Well done and stand strong. Trees are really important because they give us oxygen for us to breathe. 
So it's really important that planet Earth has lots of trees. Now bring your leg down and see if you can make a tree on the other side. Place your foot below your knee and this time bring your arms up and hold them really high. Fantastic! Maybe next time you're out in nature, you could have a look at all of the trees around you and notice them, all the different shapes and sizes. Well done and bring your arms and your leg down. As well as lots of trees, we have so many plants and flowers. So come onto your bottom and lift, put your knees together. Come up onto your toes and see if you can let your knees fall to the side. Now take your hands under your legs. Now this is a little bit tricky. See if you can lift your feet off the ground and give your fingers a little wiggle and you are a flower. And imagine your hands, oops, are the petals of your flower. See if you can balance, it's a bit tricky, isn't it? You can be any flower you like. I'm going to be a rose because I like roses, but you can choose any flower that you like. Well done. And then bring your feet down. Wonderful. So as well as plants and trees and flowers, we have lots of animals on land. Oh, did you see that? It was a bird flying. So let's turn to the side and let's see if we can be a flying bird too. So see if you can take your leg behind you and lean forwards up and you're a flying bird. Well done. Let's see if we can do it on the other side. So this time lean forward, see if you can get your leg even higher. Oh, wow. Imagine being a bird and flying around the world. Oh, I can see another animal down there. Oh, I can see a deer. Let's make a deer pose. So take one leg behind you and bend both knees stretch your arms up 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 and then bring them down really strong and we're going to move our fingers and they are our antlers our deer antlers well done and then join your feet together stretch your arms up and take your other leg behind you Bend your knees and bring your antler arms down beside you and you have made another deer. Fantastic, well done everybody. Now come to standing. Our planet has so many beautiful things on it and it's so important that we take care of it and look after it. And there are lots of things that we can all do to take care of our planet. One of the things I like to do is to recycle. Recycling is really good for our planet. So let's take our legs wide and reach up tall and we're going to pop down a bag for some plastic recycling. So let's take some plastic and pop it into our plastic recycling bag. Well done. Oh, fantastic. And then when it's full, you can pop it to the side because we're going to recycle that and then reach up tall and take down another bag. And now we're going to recycle some paper. So reach to the side and pop some paper into your recycling bag. It can be paper or card. And then when it's full, we can take it and we can recycle it. Fantastic, well done. Another thing I like to do, sometimes I like to use my legs instead of getting in my car so we can walk and we can cycle. So let's come onto our backs and we're going to cycle up a big hill. So lift your legs into the air and we can slowly start to cycle. Oh, we're going up a very deep hill, so really push your legs really strong to get us up that hill. Well done. And then we're going to come all the way down the hill. Are we ready? Wee! Fantastic. Well done. Walking and cycling is really good 
for our planet. Well done. Another thing I like to do is to garden. We can grow our own plants and our own vegetables, which is really good for our planet Earth. So we can be a tiny seed. Oh no, first of all, we need to dig, don't we? We need to dig some soil. So take your legs wide and let's dig a hole. Dig a hole in the soil where we're going to plant our little tiny seed and then we're going to be a little seed and in we go took your head down pop some soil on top of us fantastic now what do we need for our little seed to grow hmm we need some water and some sunshine so let's rain onto our seed ready Shh rain all the way down, tickle your toes, one more time, and then let's take our arms and legs wide and be the sun and we can shine down on our little seed and then slowly our little seed is going to start to grow, slowly, slowly, oh, and maybe some little shoots and some little leaves are going to come out and we're going to grow taller and taller and taller until we're fully grown and maybe we are a raspberry bush or maybe a courgette plant. Oh, you can be anything you want to be. Amazing, well done. Now let's finish with a nice fresh breath. So as we breathe in through our nose, we're going to take our arms up to the sky and then breathe out through your mouth and bring them down. And imagine you're breathing in all the nice clean air that our planet Earth is providing. And out one more time. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth and give your body a little shake. Well done, you've been amazing. Now next time that you're out in nature, maybe in a park or in the woods, see if you can notice all of the beautiful nature around you, all of the trees and the grass and the plants and the insects. See if you can notice it. Because remember, we all live here together on planet Earth. So it's really important that we all look after it. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you all again really soon for another Buttercup Yoga. Bye everybody, see you soon.